Okay, so since uh, there's been a few changes in uh, the game and Spin Tires mod, I thought I might go over a couple things and just redo my installation tutorial. So without further ado, I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, in the description, you'll find a link to this page on the, f the game's publishers. This is the Focus Forums. These are the publishers of the game. And I've set up my tutorial here uh, on the forums basically to help people out with uh, just some written written out stuff and some pictures in there so a link in the description to this this right here is what you're gonna click on it'll take you to Google Drive and to keep in mind this is my uh, I've uploaded this this is my Google Drive so there you don't have to worry about downloading anything sketchy the download button is right here just give it a minute and once it finally downloads you want to show in folder if you're using Chrome and then this is what you get in your downloads folder downloads folder usually right here under this PC and uh, you'll just go and uh, oh and if it says anything like this it's it only says it's because it doesn't have a verified publisher so you go ahead and run it if, if Windows comes up with anything it you have to click um, show more info before you can go through with the installation and this is I really like this the way um, Alex Ness has set up set up this setup here it's one of the most simplest setups I've seen in a program there's no adware or anything it's really nice And you'll click finish. It'll put a desktop shortcut on your desktop to it. Now here's where you'll want to go to your Steam and go to your library, right click on Mudrunner, properties, go there, local files, and click this. This will take you to your game directory. This is where you want to go back to Spin Tires mod and click on mod settings. And the top one that says Mudrunner Directory, install. And click on, go back to your Mudrunner Directory, right click on Mudrunner, copy address as text, go back to browse for folder in Spin Tires Mod, and in this uh, dialog, control V to paste and click OK. Now that is right, that is done, and this will show up in your directory. And that's that's pretty much the first uh, first initial thing. Once you get it, uh, once you see this mud runner button, go ahead and launch your game. Also, if you launch the game from Steam or from this like Steam uh, shortcut that is put on your desktop. It won't load with the game, your game won't load with uh, Spin Tires mod, so just keep that in mind. Always launch the game from Spin Tires mod on your desktop. So now, once your game is loaded, uh, I have a couple graphics mods. This is why it looks like this. If you want me to make a video on how to uh, install graphics mods, make your game look freaking fantastic, then uh, comment down below. Tell me what you if you would want to see that. So, if you're lucky, if you did it right, you'll have an advanced settings button down here on the right, on the bottom. And here's what you want to do is copy the settings that I've got turned on here. You know, there's some stuff you, you'd want, some stuff you wouldn't want, but these are just mine. Uh, all of these four uh, are enabled. This is all the way to the right camera zoom sensitivity have it about right there this is for free cam how fast the camera is gonna uh, you know zoom in and out also with uh, just going around the truck in regular cam the radius of activity of physical objects that is when you're uh, like fueling another player in multiplayer or getting into another truck you'll be able to do that from a farther distance so have that all the way up 
assets name in uppercase. I usually have that off just to read things better. Disable VSync is uh, what uh, enables you to uncap the frame rate from 60. Don't FPS, uh, limit FPS when game in Windows and inactive. That's when you go to you know other stuff. If you click on other shit, this is sp specifically for modders. You you don't have to enable it if you don't want to, but we like to have this enabled because when we're doing other things, the game doesn't go to 14 FPS and shit the bed and look trash. So uh, enable enable built-in reshade. That's uh, another graphics thing. I don't mess with that, so I just have it off. Going over to gameplay tab, game day duration, freeze game time. That'll just freeze the game time to where if it's night or day, it'll stay that within the whole game that you're playing or the time that you're playing the game. It won't change from night to day. It freezes the game time cycle time cycle so that's kind of cool um, a lot of these other stuff all this you can have enabled and wrench winch range is gonna you know give you a bunch of winch points uh, for farther distance and this is for this right here is for the your free cam this is this is what it'll, this this right here will be defaulted to zero I just have F9 because that's what it originally was in, a, in an earlier version of, of Spintar's mod, so I'll just have it like that. Release the winch button is uh, X on keyboard, not X on controller, X on keyboards. If you're playing on keyboard, you can release the winch quickly with just by pressing X. And, and you can set your left, right, forward, backward, uh, up, down, fast, slow. you got to hold down fast or hold down your slow, whichever it is on your keyboard if you want to move the camera faster or slower. And the current version of time that's making this video is version 1.9.1, if anyone's wondering. So, that's basically it. If, the, if you have your, um, if the game updates, you know, if you have your game update, uh, and your, and this is broken, this advanced settings button doesn't show up, your dev tools aren't working anymore, uh, then most likely just end up waiting for just keep going to this page uh, you know check it check it about every week I keep all of the latest versions posted on here so yeah another thing to know if and you're playing uh, multiplayer everyone in the game has to have this had to has to have spin tires mod for it to work for everybody if the server has it and other people people don't then it's not going to work for the server it's not going to work at all so everyone in the in your multiplayer lobby has to have it for it to work some stuff works like the battery winch and free camera i don't know why but just sometimes the dev tools don't work either that'll be about it for this video if anybody has any questions uh post them in the comments below i'll be reading comments i I read comments on every one of my videos. I'll chat with you guys. I hope you all out.